Let's generate a very quick while loop example. We'll start with a blank VI. What we're going to do is we're going to create an example where there's a loop which runs with a short delay and an indicator on the front panel which indicates the iteration of the loop. So first things first, let's create a numeric indicator. We'll call it loop iteration. Second, we want our while loop to stop when we push a stop button. So from our Boolean palette on the front panel, we're going to choose stop button. We'll place the button down and we can resize it to be a little bit bigger. Now, on the block diagram of our code, we need to place down a while loop to encapsulate our code. We right click to bring up our functions palette. From the structures menu, we choose while loop. Notice once we've selected a while loop, our cursor turns into a rectangle which indicates that we're now creating a while loop. We click and drag within the block diagram code, and the rectangle that we define is turned into a while loop. Any controls, indicators, or functions inside the rectangle we've defined will be encapsulated within the while loop. So notice there are two important terminals. The left terminal is called the loop iteration terminal, and this terminal tells us how many times the loop has run. And then of course because this is a while loop, it runs until a certain condition is met. So on the bottom right, we have our loop condition terminal. Notice when we right click on the loop condition terminal, there's an option here. Stop if true or continue if true. When we choose continue if true, we see that the icon changes to be an arrow. If we choose stop if true, the icon turns into a representation of a stop sign. What we wish to do, if we return to the front panel, is we wish to have the stop button stop our loop, which means that when we push the stop button, making the Boolean value true, we wish the loop to stop. We return to our block diagram. Now we wire up the terminal of our stop button into our condition terminal. And notice now everything is set up properly. Finally, what we wish to do is we want to connect our loop iteration to the loop iteration terminal. And this will allow us to view the iteration as the loop runs. Finally, we want to add a short delay inside the loop. The delay is available through the timing palette of our functions palette. We're going to choose the wait milliseconds. We place this function down and we right click on the terminal, create constant to put in a 500 millisecond delay. This will cause the loop to run two times per second. We return to our block diagram. We we'll reset our stop button. Now we run our code. So we observe that the loop iteration is increasing. We observe because the stop button is still false that the loop continues. As soon as we push the button, observe that the VI stops. There's one other important point to discuss about this. Before we start the code, let's leave the stop button in the true case. Return to the block diagram, and this time run the code but with execution highlighting turned on. Observe what happens when we run the code. First time through, the stop button is true, and so the loop stops immediately. But it is important to understand that the loop runs once. Even though the end condition has been met, the loop will still run exactly once.